video guys so um, today is the first full day with our dogs and uh, fourth day of being here at Tennessee and I again and I'm currently loving on my dog <laughs> you probably can't see her now um, anyway uh, the day <laughs> Um, sorry. Day has not been off to a great start. My dog went to the bathroom on the stairs because I was not moving fast enough for the dog. Um, now in my defense, I had to wait for everyone else. So I was at like the back of the line and the rule is that you can only have one team on the stairs at a time. And my dog is so wiggly that <clears throat> the dog just got excited in the morning and really had to go and I had to wait for like everybody else and there was absolutely nothing I could do I mean I tried to you know get my dog to sit and to rest and it just it sorry battery thing okay um sorry it just wasn't helping the dog just kept the kept the dog just kept wiggling as the dog sat so it was just something that wasn't gonna be happening um, oh, the dog's going off to sniff um, so anyway we get to do two routes today I'll talk more about my dog later but uh, it's like 10 minutes to lunch or breakfast I should say so I don't want to talk too much about the dog right now um, and all that good stuff and, but yeah, um, we, did I mention that we had a grooming lecture yesterday? I hope I did. I don't know, I'll have to check that video. Um, but if I didn't, then we had a grooming lecture yesterday. I was super tired, so I have no idea what I talked about. I have to go edit that video, actually. Um, but, yeah. So, that's what happened so far in the day dog went to the bathroom on the stairs or I technically at the top of the landing but anyway still not great super embarrassed by that like I know like I don't know the dog but like it's still upsetting because you know going on the theory that this is gonna be my dog it's like eh, <laughs> why did you do that please don't <laughs> so yeah um, I'm gonna need to figure out some methods to really calm my dog down and um, you know um, try to get some of the wiggles out. I, I was very tolerant yesterday. I was very okay. I don't know you. Uh, I was a lot more lenient. I was like, okay, I don't, you know, I don't know you, and I'll just let you kind of get away with a little bit more. Like my dog did a lot more sniffing than I like in a dog. Um, but you know, I, I, I let the dog kind of wiggle around a little bit more, sprawl out a little bit more than I normally would. Um, thankfully, thus far, my dog does not seem to be body sensitive, which is great. Um, a little bit head shy, um, but otherwise fine. Um, and yeah. I feel like I was in the middle of saying something and I don't know what I was just saying. Um, well, when I come back to uh, talk to you guys later about what happened, we'll go from there. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to start the video off in the morning because I don't know how much time I'm going to get throughout the day. We're doing two routes and I believe we have probably two lectures, I believe. We're gonna have our first traffic lecture today, probably at the DPC, but I'm not sure. And then, yeah, we'll probably have some kind of lecture this evening. Um, pretty much after the first couple days, we get into two lectures. We're also gonna be working with dogs in the building tonight, so that's gonna be interesting. And we might be putting on their gentilators to go down to breakfast today. I'm not too sure. You're gonna hear like, the sound of my door because uh, of the wind and the air pressure. Um, you're also gonna hear a lot of wind and stuff. The uh, window in my bathroom is open right now. So you're gonna hear that noise. 
so I uh, wanted to finish up what happened today and uh, talk about my dog a little bit more. So uh, today, like I said earlier, we uh, basically did everything I said. We had breakfast and then we uh, went down for our trip and then we, we finished our first, um, I guess you could say experimental trip, which was called a maple street route which is basically kind of a really short rectangle and then today we started our south street route um which you guys probably if you've watched my previous videos you've heard about and um it's a much longer trip and today was also the first day we started in doubles um not every group does this but we are doing this because me and another lady are close in speed, so we're doing that. Um, anyway, so we started that day afternoon. So we came back, had lunch, and then we, oh sorry, no, we came back from our trip, and then we immediately let the dogs relieve, and then we went to the meeting had the track lecture, as I mentioned, and then we had lunch. And after that, we headed back into town. So my dog is kind of like Yoshi in that my dog uh, kind of uh, uh, likes to t likes to race and tries to get around whoever's in front of us. So that's interesting. And then this afternoon, I'm so tired. Um, this so after we came back, we did our first obedience lesson, and then we went to take our dogs out, fed and watered our dogs, and. Really, today's just been a really shitty day in terms of, well, shit, I honestly cannot quite, <laughs> um, in terms of bathrooming, um, that would make it two times that my dog has relieved indoors, and I'm not overly happy about that. So we are going to do a couple things, I'm going to head out before everybody in the morning, so normally everyone starts really heading out there at like 5.30 I'm going to head down there at like 5.20, 5.25 kind of thing um, to try beating the rush um, because we're also able to work the dogs in the building out. I'm hoping that that will go quicker because we won't really need to stop as much, stop and wait as much. So I'm really hoping all that goes well together, but we'll see. But yeah, basically my dog went to the bathroom right outside my door. I came out, I turned, I asked my, my instructor, hey, are we supposed to take them out? And my instructor turned their back for like a second to talk to a different student. And I looked down and my dog was doing its business. And I'm like, really, really, please just stop. So not fun at all. Let's see. The dog's suckling in her in in, in the sleep. It's so weird. Oh no. Anyway, um, then we had our dinner, and after that, um, there was the op. We didn't have a lecture, but the retrains had the option of sitting in on of a transitions meeting um kind of it, it was basically a counseling session it was basically group group therapy so i went to that um or they shouldn't have i got quite emotional <laughs> um i didn't share as much as i was going to because i was pretty much going to start bawling my eyes out so i almost did and i hadn't even shared anything yet <laughs> It was just a little bit much for me at the time. 
Um, the other thing, I'm still trying to figure stuff out. I'm still trying to mentally get things sorted out that I haven't quite worked over yet. So, and I think that's about it. After that, I basically uh, took my dog to groom and checked out the vending machines menu selection and for some odd reason don't ask me why i was doing this i was waiting to hear like kit kat or o henry or like ketchup chips and then i'm like oh yeah canadian food <laughs> i mean not all that's canadian obviously but like you're not going to find ketchup chips here in the states so i was like why was i waiting to hear that <laughs> I don't got it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> anyway. And um, so that's what I did for that. Like I said, super tired. Um, after that, I came upstairs and that was about it, honestly. I. Um, took a shower, put my dog in its crate, and that's about it, so I'm not making this video. Anyway though, I wanted to talk about my dog, and some things I've just kind of noticed, I've picked up on my dog's telltale, I am going to the bathroom behavior, which is not the same when my dog goes indoors, because normally when we're out at bathroom pad. I'm not going to say it because I really don't want that going through the dog's mind. Um, when we are at the bathroom pad, my dog does a zigzag and then goes. Circle, 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 zigzag, go. You know, I, I'm starting to pick up on patterns. Indoors though, it's just basically squat and go. So yeah, that was not fun. dog is so itchy right now. I'm sorry. I'm just like squirreling at the moment. But like, ugh. The itch is real. Uh, it's been rainy and kind of dreary. It's not been cold. It's actually been fairly warm and humid, which is even worse for me. I feel like I'm in a rainforest. Ugh. Everyone who knows me, warm. And it's like, it can be cold. I just don't like humidity. I mean, I don't like too warm either, but I don't like humidity. <laughs> I'm used to dry climates. So, um, my dog seems to be pretty good. Um, very fast, as I've mentioned. Also very quick to pick up on things. Um, and something I've noticed is that my dog loves to look at me. Um, when I have my dog sit, the dog will like look at me and and when I give the dog a command, again, just, just keeping an eye on me, like, hey, what do you want me to do? What's up? Kind of thing. And I, just, I love that. <laughs> because my last dog could care less. <laughs> um, this dog does seem to be fairly distractible. Um, you know, we'll be going upstairs or whatever, and the dog will just be kind of watching other teams through the bars, which... Looking back, actually, I think Yoshi did that too a little bit. Especially since all the dogs kind of know each other. They're like, hey, I remember you from the kennel. Yeah, hi, bud. What's up? So, um, I mentioned my dog's head shyness, which is a real kind of annoying thing. Um, and I can see where it's probably going to make my life a bit difficult in the future. Um, because when I go to put the harness on my dog, my dog cowers and shies away from the harness. And so I've been very enthusiastic, very, ah, yeah, I'm not gonna do it actually, because my dog's in the crate. But anyway, like, very enthusiastic, very upbeat, very high pitched, trying to make it, like, as soon as I put on the harness, just super enthusiastic, trying to make it seem like the best thing ever. Um, and, you know, before I'm thinking, oh, well, if your dog's cowering from the harness, 
it means the dog doesn't want to work. That's not the case. If the dog didn't want to work, the dog wouldn't be working. Again, you cannot force these dogs to work. Um, from what I can tell, my dog loves to work. Um, constantly pulling out, ready to go, you know, very, very, how to describe it? Sure-footed, I don't, hot-footed, just, just, you know, can't sit down for long, want to keep going, 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 so, wow. Um, you know, the dog definitely likes to, likes its job, it's definitely a thing. And, uh, So it's just it's just something we're going to have to kind of work on, and I, from what I can tell, it's just something they weren't able to get the dog kind of over when they were working and, and training the dog. So I don't know if that's something the dog will ever. The dog might get better at it, especially since, you know, before that they put on the harness, they basically take it off. You know, like they'd work the dog for an hour, like they wouldn't be put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off. And that's what we're doing now. So I'm hoping that by doing that all and making sure, because I'm always very careful whenever I put on the harness, um, but I'm just making sure that I don't hit the dog. And hopefully that will reassure the dog and make the dog feel more comfortable. Um, as I've mentioned, my dog is a wiggler and that is really annoying. My dog is very fond of giving kisses and cuddling and pawing and all that stuff and it's really, really annoying. I get that a lot of people are like, yay, love, but I'm like, okay, it was fun for the first couple hours. I'm done now. You can stop. <laughs> Especially since like my face feels like it's going raw because of just the licking. I Sometimes I think my dog's part cat because seriously, like, yeah. sandpaper tongue, seriously. Not only that, my dog has horrible doggy breath. Normal, do normal, normally dog breath does not bother me, but this dog, that breath though. <laughs> um, so, ick. Anyway, not too overly sure what the plans are. I know, I believe our solo is on Sunday, I want to say, or Saturday, man, I'm not too sure. I'm not really too sure what the plans are for the next couple days. I believe that the shuttle buses start tomorrow, which means that we will, uh, basically we will get more free time essentially, rather than just sitting at the DTC forever, which is kind of nice. Um, it's also kind of like, what am I going to do with my free time? But that's, I guess, when I'm going to be uploading videos. As soon as I have everything with doggy dog um, taken care of. Um, I have decided that upon my completion of the solo, I'm going to tell you guys the gender of my dog. Because it's a 50-50 shot. And, well, hey, might as well start with that, right? And, plus, it's been a pain in the rear end to try to not say the dog's gender. So yeah, you'll find that out on Saturday or Sunday. I'm still going to hold off on the breed and the name until Wednesday. But um, yeah. <laughs> so that's the story for right now and uh, hopefully I'll get this video done ready to go for tomorrow and you'll get two videos tomorrow again so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video i'm sorry that these are so fragmented and so weird like i'm not talking about much but that's kind of how my brain is especially at this time of day i'm just like what <laughs> so that's just kind of what's happening um i will do my best to try making them more like structured but no guarantees because again I'm showing you the reality, and the reality is I'm confused as all get out, so. <laughs> That's just what's happening. I mean, I have all the past experience of, of, of you know, working with Yoshi, but different instructors have different rules, and it's a different dog, and this dog is very quick to just 
wiggle and turn, wiggle and turn, wiggle and turn. And that's something I'm figuring out is, you know, the dog is not doing things I want it to do. But I'll get into that in a separate video. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. And uh, for, you know, if you like the video, definitely hit the like button. All right. And like I said, stay tuned, guys, because I will be sharing the dog with you guys coming up. And you don't want to miss a video because I don't know exactly when I'm going to be sharing it. It could be Saturday, it could be Sunday, it could be Wednesday. I don't know. So definitely stay tuned. And I will talk to you all later.